Hi guys, so I am here to uh, welcome you to the next hop on the Creating the Crafty Lives Country Garden YouTube hop. Uh, this hop goes from May 26th to June 1st, so you have one week to take a look at all of the videos, subscribe to all of the channels, and leave a comment and, on all of the videos for your chance to win the sponsored prize the, our sponsor is none other than the mb treasurista store for which i've provided a link in the description box so the theme this uh this hop around i guess was country garden and thinking of country garden reminded me of graphic 45's french country paper pack which i only recently acquired due to being at a crafty trade show and well a local crafty trade show and running into a booth that happened to be carrying the paper packs i do not have any of the embellishments so all of the embellishments or all of the embellishing that you see is either d using the paper pack itself or by you know adding some of the stuff that i have in my stash and I do have some on their way in, but it's just not here yet. I actually only just ordered a bunch of stuff today. But anyways, so this is the line that I used, the uh, French country uh, paper craft, or paper crafting paper. <laughs> so there you go. And w this is the project that I created. Now, the project had a stipulation that there had to be a tag, and I did create a tag, and I actually was specifically thinking about how to incorporate a tag in a shadow box, because this is a th only my second shadow box that I've made, so I had no idea how I was going to do it. But uh, here we go. I'm just going to walk you through some of the, or some of my process. So... As you can see, the tag here is stuck behind this big old rooster, and on the tag at the bottom is one of the is a fussy cut image from one of the pages in the 8x8 paper pack. The background paper is also a background paper from the 8x8 paper pack, and uh, this is some recollections bling on this corner here. And this is another piece cut out from the 8x8 paper pack, the little black stripe with the uh, handwriting on it. So those are all, I, I only use the 8x8 paper pack in this, uh, for this project. So the box itself is 6.5x6.5. It is, you know, pretty much square. For the corners, um... Michaels has some of these uh, adhesive tiles and I thought they would look um, nice in the corner. I was actually going to do some sort of uh, decorative edging or something with it, but I ended up doing this instead. Um, the glitteriness that you see is actually embossing powder. It's holographic embossing powder by Ranger, I think, and I was actually going to use it on this project, but then I didn't, and I was opening and closing the jar, deciding on whether I was going to use it or not, and it went all over the project, and it actually turned out not so horrible. I like the little glitteriness that it left behind in all of its, uh, in all of its random dropping. Um, okay, so... This uh, across the top is the border that belongs to the page from which this rooster was cut. And I popped it up on a two layers of foam tape, the stuff. And I added it as a top border. The rooster is cut out from the first page or the first pattern in the 8x8 paper pack. And so are the sunflowers. So the sunflowers were... This is relatively in the same position on the page uh, among the rooster, except for this bottom sunflower, I moved the sunflower, I fussy cut it first of all, and then moved it over so it's on top of the rooster instead of next to the rooster. And then this sunflower here was directly above the rooster and now it's slightly, you know, in the background. 
So on the bottom here, I glossy accented these stems. I really was going to glossy accent the sunflowers. Then I realized how many sunflowers there were and how much glossy accents that would be and how much I, th I thought it would overpower the imagery. So I decided I would only glossy accent those stems. I think I was going to do the stem as well, but I never... I guess I forgot about it. Um, so down here, this is a little ticket type thing that came from the paper on the same page as well. These guys here, one, two, and three. So what I did was I cut them out. I I uh, used the uh, dis the stress distress tool to wrinkle up those edges or distress the edges. Then I use some of the what ink did I use here okay do not know where my ink went but oh found it use some of that walnut stain ink distress ink from uh, Tim Holtz and or from Ranger Tim Holtz you know you know the main man in the crafting industry and uh, then I added an actual rock. <laughs> I, I don't know why I had a rock in my stash. I actually found that I had a whole bunch of those, uh, you know, those, uh, I guess, oh man, what are they called? Those meteor, like, they look like meteorite type rocks, right? I found a whole bunch in a little bag that I had collected when I last went walking along the lake shore. So I use that. I use a little flower that I found as well in my stash. Um, this is a key from my stash. I was not really going to put this here until after I like I realized how well the color matched with everything else. So I figured why not. So this flower in this bottom corner box of the shadow box was uh it's part of one of the recollections bling um embellishments that you can get at michael's and then for the center i actually just i use a brad and i just kind of hot glued that down in there this uh lantern actually fell off of another project that i had received in a swap but uh you know obviously you don't throw out those kinds of things and i liked the I actually replaced it with something else on the project that I received so I kept the lantern in my stash and I thought this was an ideal spot to put it because you know it matches and it's country you know you always when you think country garden you think it's gonna be dark and you're gonna need some light to get around in the dark so there's your lantern these little strips here, uh, they used to be silver and black bling, and I used my Copic marker to color in the bling part of it so that, you know, come on, focus, focus for me, uh, a little bit better, but uh, I used my black, or not my black, I used one of my Copic markers to color that in. I'm not 100% sure of what the color was, but uh, that's how I got them to look s not silver <laughs> and as you can see in this corner here and down here those are the other two ticket like things that came off that page that I cut this one off of and this is another flower that I placed in this box and this is the heading um, of the paper pack French country and there's a little rooster next to it which I glossy accented to give it some added definition so you know, it does. It it was actually a lot of fun making this, just because I've never really done something like this, you know, to this extent before. But um, that's pretty much it. Thank you very, very much for stopping by. Please check out the description to find out, you know, the next stop on the hop because that's clearly where you're headed after here, right? Okay, you guys. Thanks so much for dropping in. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any opinions please leave them in the comments below and have a great great time scrapping take care everyone happy scrapping bye